Whiskey Cast. Proudly brought to you by Redbreast, the definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Join the still house at singlepotstill.com and receive an exclusive whiskey tasting journal. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. I'm Mark Gillespie. This time around, I'm in Bardstown, Kentucky, known as the bourbon capital of the world. Why? Well, most of the old bourbon barons used to live on Whiskey Row on the north side of town. A lot of the distilleries are in the Bardstown area, and Bardstown is also home to the annual Kentucky Bourbon Festival. You could make a claim and be pretty accurate that it's the world's biggest whiskey festival. Bourbon is more than just whiskey in Bardstown. It's a way of life. Generations of Kentuckians in the area have grown up working in local distilleries and cooperages, or the businesses that support them. And while the master distillers are the celebrities of the festival, around here, they're just Parker, Jimmy, Fred, Craig, Chris, Jim, Greg, and Harlan. They go to the same churches, shop at the same stores, and their kids go to the same schools. The festival is just as much a celebration of the people of central Kentucky as it is the bourbon industry. All right, we're off. Let's hear it, Buffalo Trace. With everything from barrel rolling races to a black tie gala. In the last several years, it's taken on a whole new uh, 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 mind and sense of its own. And with the development of the bourbon trail that goes through central Kentucky and Barstown being in Nelson County, being home to several of the major distilleries, and uh, it's really been a major impact. You know, over a million people traveled the bourbon trail last year. An amazing fact that I'm proud of, that uh, they did a survey and 80% of all the people that stayed overnight on the bourbon trail stayed in Barstown, Kentucky. Not Louisville, not Lexington, not Frankfurt, not Owensboro, in Barstown. So that's a big plus and it says a lot for the people and, and my staff here at the city to, to make this place a nice, friendly, welcome and clean place to come to. An estimated 50,000 people visited this year's festival from almost every state in the U.S and as far away as Australia and New Zealand. It has exploded, exploded so much this year that literally all of our events were sold out two to three weeks before the festival began and before we really truly ever started advertising it in any way, shape or form. The lawn around Bardstown's Spalding Hall hosts crafts, food, music, and of course, bourbon. Every one of the major distillers has a store on the lawn but you'll also find artisans who bring their own creative touch to the festival, whether it's food or furniture. My shop, which uh, it, um, is a custom furniture business, is right behind Bourbon Barrel Foods uh, in Louisville where they ferment soy sauce in a once-used bourbon barrel, and he was throwing away the parts, and I don't like to throw anything away, and I reused what he was throwing away. Uh, since November, um, I've made 450 stools. Jason Cohen makes everything from stools and tables to outdoor furniture. Uh, that's behind me is a could be an air conditioner cover or a garbage can cover or a screen or a headboard for a bed, or whatever. You know, I just like the patterns that it, it's almost like interlacing the the staves together. Looks like they're woven a little bit. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars now a quarter, one hundred one and a quarter, and one hundred hundred quarter wear and go, and one hundred one twenty five, and one hundred one twenty five. Do you want it? 100, 125, 125, now 50. There's also a lot of charitable work going on with auctions to benefit the Oscar Getz Museum of Whiskey History in Bardstown and the festival's own scholarship fund. Numerous other Bardstown groups benefit from raffles, parking cars, and food sales. The Kentucky Bourbon Festival is held every September. The 2013 dates are the 17th through the 22nd. If you're thinking of coming to the 2013 festival, you might want to make those hotel reservations early. For more cask strength conversation on whiskeys with the people who make them and with the people who drink them, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. In Bardstown, Kentucky at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, I'm Mark Gillespie.